Mankind's journey to the stars and beyond has kicked off. While we're currently unable to colonize planets and asteroids yet, we've been taking baby steps. One of the innovations within these small baby steps is the SpaceX Starship. If you're here watching this video now, then it means you must have heard about it. The SpaceX Starship is a spacecraft and super heavy rocket that will one day be capable of carrying crew and cargo to Earth's orbit, the Moon, Mars and beyond, and remain reusable. In the next few minutes, I'll be taking you on a short tour inside the Starship based on all the available information on the spacecraft's interior. You'll also find out about other miscellaneous information concerning the Starship, so why don't you relax and enjoy it? Before we begin our tour, have you ever wondered if there were any interesting details behind the exterior design of the Starship? Well, you're about to find out. First of all, the shininess of the Starship is not accidental, nor is it all for aesthetics. It's a well-thought-out decision that helps the spacecraft function effectively whilst also saving cost. According to Elon Musk, choosing the cheaper and heavier stainless steel over the lighter carbon fibre that was initially considered is a decision that was made not to save cost, but because of the material's tougher texture, availability and usefulness in creating the regenerative heat shield. The regenerative heat shield is a SpaceX innovation, consisting of two layers of stainless steel and some water in between for heat absorption during re-entry. The water is ejected by the heat shield through perforated plates in a process known as transpiration cooling. When asked on Twitter if the Starship will ever be painted, Elon Musk responded that it won't be as the skin will get too hot for paint anyway. Way to go SpaceX for this genius decision to make the Starship super effective and better looking altogether. As for the idea behind the tip of the Starship, you might find this one a bit surprising, or maybe not considering how eccentric SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is. I'll let you decide. While speaking on the Joe Rogan podcast for the third time altogether in February 2021, the billionaire revealed that the decision to make the Starship's nose, a bit like Pinocchio's, was inspired by the dictator. In the political drama by award-winning actor Sasha Baron Cohen, he plays the role of Supreme Leader Aladdin. During the routine military inspection, the tyrant is displeased by the blunt head of the missile, designed by his engineers. He commanded that they make it pointy, because pointy is scary. Elon Musk admitted to challenging the fictional Supreme Leader's desire as an inside joke that was well understood by the other staff. When he asked if the pointed edge serves any aerodynamic purpose, Musk says no, that in fact it's arguably slightly worse, but he thinks it's okay anyway since it looks cooler and everyone thinks it's funny. Now that we're done addressing the interesting details about the exterior of the Starship, let's go right inside. At the top of the current Starship prototypes is the nose cone that houses the payload and could be converted to a whopping 30 feet wide multi-purpose cargo bay as soon as the Starship is ready for use. This same compartment can also be alternatively used as the living and storage quarters of the crew members once the Starship is suitable for manned flights. Current projections are that the compartment will be able to comfortably house 100 people per flight. At the nose of the Starship, there are also Tesla batteries, still attached to car engines, used to power the ship's massive energy needs using the header tank. The batteries power Tesla Model 3 motors, used to pump hydraulic fluid made of oxygen and fuel to generate energy needed for the flaps during landing. In a 10-second video posted by Musk some years ago, we see the view from inside the Starship's cargo bay, with the camera looking upward at the inside of the rocket's nose cone where the header tank is situated. The header tank sits separately from the main tank at the nose of the Starship for different important reasons. According to a 2017 Reddit Ask Me Anything session, Elon Musk confirmed that the tanks are separate so as to have greater insulation, reduce boil off and avoid sloshing on entry especially by not having to press up the whole main tank. Another reason for the Starship header tank being at the very tip of the nose of the Starship is that it moves the centre of mass higher on the rocket, especially during re-entry. If the landing fuel was in the main tank, the weight would be too much and definitely upset the horizontal return method. Evidently, positioning a separate tank in the nose of the Starship is killing a lot of birds with one stone. No offence to the birds and the bird lovers. The Tesla CEO admitted while showing off the cargo bay of the Starship that the finished version of the interior will be a lot more polished than the test versions. That's indication that there's still a lot to be discovered once the spacecraft is ready for manned voyages. Despite the history of failed test flights, the Starship is making good progress. This is owed to the enthusiasm of the hard-working teams behind the off-world colonization project. SpaceX is currently taking small steps for man. We can only hope that it becomes a giant leap for the whole of mankind in a few years. We're excited about what's to come and we hope you are too. Now we've come to the end of this video, we hope you enjoyed the tour and fun facts about Starship. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you're one of the first to watch the upcoming videos. See you next time! Thank you.